is going on guys welcome to the video welcome back to another video i hope you guys are having a good day my name is kyle beats if you don't know who i am so today's video i tweeted out somebody send me your midi and i i thought of a really good way to show how you can improve your melodies really quickly i'm going to take someone's midi from a melody that they sent me and i'm going to tweak it in little small ways that's gonna show you kind of where you're going wrong and show you how to take your melody that might not be good and make it good, little tips, and just, just what I do, and, and I think it will help out a lot. But before we get into the video, so literally the most asked thing for me to do from you guys, thousands of emails, messages, everything, everywhere you can contact me, I am getting the same thing. My contact page on my website, literally every day, all day, there are people asking me for help. There are people asking me how to improve. There are people trying to send me their beats, asking me what they're doing wrong. And over the past like month, I have come up with something for you guys that I think hopefully is going to help. I have come up with a Kyle Beats Let Me Listen mentorship one-on-one -on -one help via email from me to let me listen to your beats and give you feedback most importantly I think that's where the most help will be and also if you have any questions about selling beats or other things like that I've been secretly doing trials with a select small group of people and the results have been amazing so I decided to to roll it out to you guys I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it this this is only gonna be a limited time thing I'm not sure how long I'm gonna do this for as I continue to grow like we're hitting a million subscribers I'm doing it. I'm gonna I'm going for it so as I continue to grow as I put out songs as I get involved in many other things this membership is not gonna be forever I gave a few people a trial run of this membership and I want to read one of the one of the emails I got from someone involved in this trial he said you told me the basics and helped me get to a point where I'm able to start off I couldn't be more thankful I wish for you the best of luck man this trial run has gave me so much confidence in my skill especially hearing it from a dope producer such as yourself I'm always gonna aim to get better bless up man skies the limit so if you're interested in that I'm gonna leave the link the first link below if you want to sign up once you sign up I will be sending you my, personally myself an email in the first 24 to 48 hours and we can get started and it's lit I had someone send me this MIDI on Twitter so I'm gonna record my screen and just go through and kind of like This is, there's a lot of stuff, I don't know. It's in chords, it's got counter like notes to it, like other notes on it. I'm gonna go through and touch it up as best as I can and have it kind of make sense. And then from there, I'm gonna make a beat out of this, but I, I really wanna show you ways that, to make this better first. All right, so here it is. Here it is right here. Um, I'm just gonna set it to 140. So if you try to figure out what scale it's in, it's kind of in, in a few different scales. It goes from here to... It doesn't repeat yet, it keeps going up. It just keeps going up all the way. From here, whoop, all the way up. And then it goes from... I mean, that note right there. It just, it just sounds like something that's like not in tune. I know what you're trying to do with the Halloween, like Travis Scott maybe type of thing. This is like, this isn't it. I'm just gonna loop this, this makes sense. I'm gonna 
gonna start unmuting all these other notes and start bringing them into play. Yeah, see all these all these other notes are, it's just weird, man, this is just weird. It, when it sounds too much like a haunted house, like soundtrack, it's just usually not it, so. First of all, one of my biggest things I saw in here was this big gap over here. This is this is like the the where it loops again. Usually the the 808 drops a little bit harder. Things started to happen, and it was just kind of it didn't match the first pattern and the in the in the way it hit, and it was just and it, and it had a big gap here, and that was like I don't know. So. Alright, so you saw me fix it. I try to keep it similar. Uh, the biggest thing there was just the, the, the rhythm of the whole thing was kind of off. So I'm gonna go through and finish this beat right here and make something dope out of it. If you want me to do something like this again, make sure you drop a like on this video. If we hit a thousand likes, I'll do it again and tweet it out. So go follow me on Twitter. I want to play this beat for you guys. I want to let you hear it. I'm going to lay it out. Pretty much the idea is out right now. So I want to let you hear the final beat of what I made. I haven't done this in a while. Out here making these beats. Let's play the final beat in three, two.
Imagine. That's gonna be great. Alright guys, so I hope you like that beat. I hope you like this video. So if if you are interested in learning how to make better beats, if you are interested in in participating in this somewhat of a mentorship type of program where you can send me your beats up to 15 beats every single month. I'm, I'm starting to realize that there is a huge benefit for one-on-one -on -one advice. So I think this is the best thing for, for someone that really wants to learn um, as quickly as possible to send me their beats, get critiques, get their questions answered and get just like help moving forward as they grow and as they learn as a producer from your boy. So uh, with that being said, I hope you like this video. It was just another one of those days in the studio. So thank you guys so much for the support. Until the next one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, you know this. Hey, you know this.